Here we go again. We're on pins and needles trying to figure out whether or not the government can fund itself before another shutdown. My gosh, it happens every year. At some point, you'd think they would start to figure this out. At some point, they may not have a choice. Hello. Welcome to the program, everyone. I am Trish Regan. We're brought to you in part by Legacy Precious Metals. If you're thinking about investing for the long term, you might want to consider gold. It's a vital part of a diversified portfolio. When you do, call my friends up at LegacyPMInvestments.com for more. Again, LegacyPMInvestments.com. We're going to talk a little bit more in light of what's going on in Washington, D.C. I also want to get to this Title 42 because, yes, the Supreme Court did come through with something. They said we can't have a stampede at the border, but all they're doing is kind of kicking the can down the road for somebody else to have to deal with it at another time, which is what we seem to do as a country over and over and over again. Just look at the Federal Reserve. We would not be in the inflation trouble we are in today had it not been our Fed saying, oh, we'll leave it for somebody else to handle. Plus, we got to talk a little bit about China's economic issues as a result of their zero COVID policy that's coming back to backfire on that country. First, a shout out to all my friends over at the Association of Mature American Citizens, also known as AMAC, A-M-A-C. AMAC is a wonderful organization that cares so much about our country's future, just like all of us do. And they want to make sure that they preserve our economic integrity for future generations so that future generations aren't confronting sky high inflation like we're doing right now. So this is a wonderful group. It's a little bit like the AARP with a little bit more of a conservative bent to it or slant to it. I encourage you to check it out. It's just 16 bucks a year to join and your money is going to join forces with more than 2 million other individuals that probably think a lot like you. Plus, you're going to get all kinds of discounts. You'll make the money back, I say, in no time because of all the hotel discounts and the travel discounts, the restaurant discounts. But on top of that, you get some really good advice because they have a lot of different financial asset managers you can pick from for financial advice. They have a lot of different retirement plans that you can look at and also health care plans. So lots of good stuff over at amac.us slash Regan. Again, that's amac, A-M-A-C, dot us slash r-e-g-a-n my last name go there join them today it is well worth it all right turning first to the news of the week well actually the news of the week may soon become donald trump and his taxes we are waiting on whether or not congress is going to vote to release those redacted trump tax records so that may be tomorrow's show but as we talk today we are once again confronting the reality of a deadline on the darn budget. I mean, it happens every single darn year. It's like, come on, guys, can we not get ahead of this a little bit, a little bit better? Apparently, there's some thinking that lawmakers will come to some kind of agreement in part because of the threat of a winter storm. I guess whatever it takes, right? But the truth is, when you look at this, what you see is, once again, we are spending more than we earn. And while there's still a lot of good in there, there's also a lot of stuff that we need to pare down. And nobody's willing to have those conversations or make those decisions. And so consequently, we're right back where we started. And I just don't know how long this can continue for. It's a little like when I said the Fed could not just keep on printing money, even though they were so upset about the COVID-19 shutdowns, et cetera. The answer was not to just indefinitely print money and to keep handing out checks. The answer was to find a solution before it was too late. Well, we are constantly in the business, for whatever reason, of never finding actual solutions. And that's a problem. It's a problem economically speaking. It's a problem even in terms of our national security. I'll take Title 42 as an example, everyone. Title 42, that was what basically stopped people from being able to get asylum here in the United States basically gave the CDC the power to say, okay, we're locking down the borders. We're locking down the borders because we can't have people coming here that are a health threat to U.S. citizens. The Biden administration wanted that reversed, of course, but there's this problem called reality. If you were to reverse that, you're dealing with a whole lot of pent-up demand and a whole lot of expectations that you are going to reverse it, which means that it's kind of a free-for-all, right? Everybody can come into the country. I am, and I want to make this very, very clear, I am a proponent of immigration. I think it's very important to the health and economic viability of our country that we continue a policy of bringing more and more people here to help our nation grow bigger and better and stronger. We need the right kind of people. We need people. We ought to be systematic about it. We ought to say, okay, we've got a shortage of nurses. Where can we find nurses? We've got a shortage of people in the medical profession. We've got a shortage of X, Y, and Z. Let's go out and find them and recruit them and bring them here. And yes, by the way, not everybody has to have a PhD. We need plenty of workers, people that are willing to work hard. That's all fine and good. The problem is we've created this, this perverse system 
where the only ones benefiting off of all this immigration seem to be these gangs that charge big bucks for getting people across the border. So by having this really messed up, messed up system, we're creating bad incentives for bad people. That has to get fixed. But nobody, again, talking about kicking the can down the road, nobody wants to fix it. Nobody. And so now you have the Supreme Court saying, okay, well, you know what? We realize that a whole bunch of courts and judges and the Biden administration wanted to reverse this, but we need to be realistic. Can we manage that in the here and now? Can we manage this massive influx? I mean, it's already been pretty darn significant, the highest numbers we've ever seen in our history since Joe Biden became president. Can we handle more of that? The reality is no. And so now you've got the the Supreme Court saying, okay, let's revisit it another day. Let's revisit. Let's kick the can down the road, just like our Federal Reserve that does that on inflation. Look, I know they're raising rates right now, but if they wanted to really be serious about things, they'd be raising it at a much faster, more significant clip. And by the way, if they were serious people, they would not have been sitting there telling us that it was transitory over and over and over again. This was never transitory inflation. I warned of that nonstop, as hopefully you guys all heard and knew. And it's one of the reasons I've I've been so proud to partner with Legacy Precious Metals, LegacyPMInvestments.com. This is a wonderful family-run business that helps you invest in things like precious metals, silver and gold to be specific. I mean, I'm kind of a gold girl myself and have been for a long time because I see that as one of the best ways to even out one, some of the fluctuations that we get in our portfolios, but also two, it's one of the best ways to ensure, to ensure that your dollars are still going to matter in the future. It's one of the best ways to protect the values of your dollars over the long term. So I encourage you to give them a call. You get a free investing guide if you go on to LegacyPMInvestments.com. So go there today or give them a ring. You're certainly more than welcome to use my name. They've become good friends of mine. And I really do believe in what they're trying to do in terms of helping people diversify. Diversification is everything. You know, people have different needs at different times. And you've got to be very thoughtful about that. And consult with your financial planner. Please do that. But think about putting something like gold or silver into your portfolio for the long run. Call my friends at 1-866-589-0560, 1-866-589-0560, one of the wonderful sponsors of the Trish Regan Show. And speaking of sponsors, just a quick shout out for Rough Greens. You know, I talk about this on every program. I love my dog. My dog is such a big part of my life. You've heard me talk about Fluffy before. He's just incredible. And he's been doing extra, extra well because of Rough Greens, roughgreens.com. That's where you need to go today. It was started by a former army ranger who's very much into health, has a wonderful story himself on how he has helped him himself in terms of his own illnesses through better nutrients better products that he's ingesting. And he felt like he needed to do the exact same thing for his dogs. His dogs are a little bigger than Fluffy. Fluffy's just a little tiny Maltese. So Dr. Dennis Black created this formula, which has all kinds of wonderful, wonderful nutrients for dogs. And his view on it, by the way, he's a naturopathic doctor. Dr. Black's view on it was that you could really take all that dead food on grocery store shelves and make it come alive. Make it come alive in a way that really is meaningful to your fluffy, (laughs) your dog. And I've seen a difference. I really have. I feel really good as a pet owner, knowing that my dog is getting all the nutrients he so needs and deserves. I mean, the food, it, it does so much, right? But this is the extra kick, if you would. This is what really just guarantees you as a pet owner that your dog is getting all those important digestive enzymes and nutrients and vitamins that he or she needs to have a long, healthy life. So I'm thrilled with Rough Greens. I know Fluffy's thrilled with Rough Greens. And I'm really thrilled to tell you about a special offer Dr. Black has for listeners of this program. Just go to roughgreens.com today, roughgreens.com today, and sign up for your special free trial bag. You don't have to spend anything. It's just a free trial. Well, I guess you have to cover shipping, but it's a free trial bag. Go today. I know your pet is going to love it. Fluffy loves it. I love it because he does. And it's all good stuff. Back to the news of the day, however. I want to leave you with just a little a little bit of good. <laughs> if you are a patriot like me, you want to make sure that the U.S. economy is continuing to thrive, is continuing to be number one in the world. And one of my big concerns has been this idea that China is taking over. The expectation was that by 2035, they would be the world's largest economy. We would cease to have that title. And that has bothered me. I mean, as you can imagine, it should bother you too, given that We live here in this country, so we want our country to succeed. Well, as a result of this COVID-19 ordeal and poor economic choices 
I, I make this point because I've said all along, in order for us to have the ability to fight this really as a nation, I continue to believe this, even though it's sort of, you know, over. But in order to fight it, you have to have a strong economy. And so this has been critical from the very beginning. They felt very differently, obviously, in China, and they continued to use COVID as a reason to lock down certain neighborhoods, certain areas. And so these random shutdowns have had an enormously detrimental effect on the overall Chinese economy. And frankly, I would argue, on their leader's standing. I would not be surprised to see more and more problems for him ahead because I don't think she can really continue to command the will of the people. I mean, they've got their own ways of doing it and all that jazzy stuff. But still, over time, if you continue to suppress people like that and in such a totally random way with these nonstop lockdowns and this zero tolerance, that does become problematic. And you're seeing that right now in in the evidence of new economic numbers and now an expectation that they're not going to meet that 2035 idea of being the world's largest economy. So take heart in that, a little bit of heart in that. We are watching, as I said, for the Trump tax returns. We'll be covering that tomorrow. I love having all of you here. A quick reminder, go to trishintel.com today. Sign up for my newsletter. It's at trishintel.com and you get access to special invitation only events, all free for you, but only for big fans of the program. So go to trishintel.com today. Sign up for the free newsletter to get special access to special events. And I'll see you back here tomorrow.